We're up here at the northern panhandle of West Virginia, you know, the uh, top of the middle finger. Uh, yeah. Man doesn't know how to do a middle finger. I don't, I don't the man doesn't know how to do a middle finger that looks like West Virginia. Is that? I don't remember. I don't do that. Uh, put the thumb up a little bit. Eastern Panhandle's not way down south. It's up more north. All right, you can put it down. <laughs> anyway. When I was nine years old, my dad gave me my first can of beer and a hot dog with sauerkraut. I love them both, and today, as a proud West Virginian, I'm still looking for the best West Virginia-style hot dog. now search for only the top three hot dogs in different regions of the state. When we go to a restaurant, we search for three things. Taste, presentation, and cleanliness. Top score is 15. So let's end this tour the right way by eating more hot dogs. Let's go. We're getting those hot dogs, baby. Heck yeah. Let's go find them. Connie supposedly has the best hot dogs in town, so we're gonna go and see if they have uh, a West Virginia style hot dog though. So let's just take a look. Can you make a West Virginia style hot dog? I can make a West Virginia style hot dog. Do you know what a West Virginia style hot dog is? Well, you is? know what? In my opinion, okay. they have lots of bacon. Bacon? Of course. Oh, okay. We All right. We're in West Virginia. We eat bacon every day. All right. So you're going to chop it with some bacon. You're okay. You're going to chop it with some slaw. You're going to chop it with some chili. Yeah. And you're going to chop it with some cheese. Cheese and also. Add, and you're going to add a little bit of bacon to that and then chop it with the slaw on the top. Wow. Okay. Do you know how we really make it? How do you really make it? Okay. So it's, it's mustard, onion, chili, and slaw. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, you know what? I like mine just as good. <laughs> You gotta grate it. This is a chili that had uh, some kidney beans on it, which is not really the traditional way, but how many quarts of chili do you make? 65 quarts a day. 65 quarts of chili a day they make here at Connie. So obviously uh, a big staple here in hometown. You've been doing this for 18 years? Here. 18 years right here in Chester. So uh, great place, come check it out. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. You know, for me the chili was pretty good. Um, it, had very little kidney beans. I do think it's probably one of those chilies that would be better by itself. It's it's strange to, to, to explain uh, hot dog chili versus uh, you know chili chili. Yeah. And then you got uh, the chili sauce. Yeah, a whole <laughs> so, different thing. The dog being grilled tastes great. Um, yeah, the, the grilled dog was perfect. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, the slaw for me, it was a sweet slaw, which I liked. Uh, the bun was a little soggy. I think that's the only big downfall. Yeah. I think if they had toasted that um, bun, it would probably have been a whole different ball game. Off to a good start. Let's see what else we got. So we're looking for a West Virginia style hot dog. Do you know what that is? Not. You've, have you ever heard of the West Virginia style hot dog? I have not, no. Have you ever heard of the West Virginia style? No. You have not. And what state are we in right now? West Virginia. Folks, I apologize again. We're <laughs> the Northern Panhandle. <laughs> These things happen. And uh, well, let's get back to the regular program. Okay. So um, basically what it is, it's your red skin okay. with Slaw on top. They've never heard of it. 
but they have now. So we're gonna make it happen, right? I'm gonna roll up my sleeves for this one. Okay. Wow. Huge. <laughs> wow. Did he? That's a lot of dog. Pretty good. Nice, sweet. Slaw right there. Yes. You have to kind of take a few bites to really get the gist of it. Yeah. Hot dog is great. Quarter pound? No kidding. Chili's great. Yeah. I mean, it's a hot dog chili. It's not like a. Right. Again, folks, no beans in the chili. It's a hot dog chili. That's how you're supposed to do it. I love it. It's good. It's definitely a grilled hot dog for sure. Boiled and beer and grilled. Okay. I can tell it's something different. I couldn't place it. That was really good. For a West Virginia style hot dog, we're looking for mustard, uh, onions, chili, coleslaw. I mean, we don't we don't advertise for a West Virginia style hot dog. Can you make a West Virginia style hot dog? We sure can. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll give it a try. Uh, Route 22 Sports Bar. Taylor here is going to help us. We're excited. I think we got the ingredients figured out. I think. Yes, we did. No pickles. No ketchup. No ketchup, please no ketchup. No ketchup. Wow, Northern Panhandle. But the chili that we put on it is not the same as our chili soup. We individually make our chili here. We take the ground beef, we, we cook it up, we take all our secret ingredients that we get from our owner, Evelyn Cruz. You have your own hot dog chili, right? Yes. They have their own, did you know they have your own hot dog chili? Yeah. Okay, because most places here in the Northern Panhandle don't have that. No, usually they just put regular chili on it, so it's good stuff. Our homemade chili. <laughs> wow. Mustard, onion, chili, slaw. Bam! Boom! Look at that! Yeah. This is good. Yeah, I had to get into that chili a little bit. It's very different. Very different. Um, it's not like so much of chili at all, but it's, no. quite, but it's definitely meaty. It's, it's meaty. It's almost more like ground beef, more. Yeah, it, bit. yeah. It, it, it's meaty. It's a ground beef, finely chopped. It's not runny. It's not. You know what I mean? It's not like no, a saucy no, no. chili at all. No, it's it's a straight up pretty. It's completely in its own category. That's good. Unique chili. Got the onions on the bottom there, finely chopped. There's a little bit of spice in there, you notice it? Yeah, oh yeah. This is definitely the best slaw and chili we've had anywhere in the North at all. Yeah. Oh, we'll take that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Again, oh, I see a very big hot dog. Not your normal hot dog chili, it is actually a bean chili. Uh, looks like it's kidney beans. But it's made super well. Yeah, I can already tell it's a really good dog. Yeah. They use uh, red onions on top, which is pretty nice. The chili is great, otherwise, the onions in there are good. Yeah. And um, the bun's not toasted, but it's handling up. So yeah. It's doing just fine. This is a really good dog. For some, they call it dinner. For us, it's just one of many.
Really? Why? why? I need to get uh, Alka Seltzer. What's the matter, Joel? Too many hot dogs? Is that bad already? Well, it might, yeah, it might stop me from vomiting. Are you feeling kind of, kind of full, like full of hot dogs? Oh, well, true. We've had about a dozen or so hot dogs already, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna find Alka Seltzer. What's that? Too many hot dogs in your life, Joel? What? Now off to the next place. All right, time to eat more hot dogs. Is that an all beef dog? Yes, sir. Wow, that can tell. It's a good steamed bun. Good steamed bun, yeah. That's kind of rare. Yeah, I like the chili. It's definitely very like melt in your mouth kind of hot dog. No. Is there any hot dogs that we've had today? I'm scarfing this down. Uh, me too, it's good. It's really good. This is a good one. Wow, I feel like Bigfoot. <laughs> I think I need an alka seltzer now. <laughs> With only two regions to go, stay tuned. Here is the current top 50. Uh, yeah. yeah, I said that once. Then <laughs> I said the hell with it. Oh, where's the fun in dieting?